everyone thinks that a market just crashes like bam that's it the market crashed well the more you don't realize it you being like the, the general public not you people <laughs> who know a little bit about trading this is 2000 chew okay we made all-time highs back here actually 2000 and it was three weeks and we did have a sell signal after three weeks now you could argue well dave that's a whipsaw filter and a whipsaw signal meaning that it got you out and then it got you back in you are correct but what's interesting is this was kind of like a shot across the bow like well hang on a second and notice that we never did make a new high even though you you had a signal to get back in and then your second signal was 29 weeks later so that's six months later you get the second signal okay so that's a long time and, and it, again when you're in a bear market it feels like it just happens overnight it doesn't happen overnight believe it or not and here's what's kind of a shocking thing and it's hard to wrap your head around i learned it from greg morris and you know greg tells you something it's usually pretty good and you'd better listen <laughs> but he said that bear market tops the way a bear market starts is usually more of a process than an event and it and it's hard to wrap your head around that and the bear market bottoms are usually more of an event than a process you get like a spike down and then that's it and the market comes straight back up so anyway, once again, you can see this market with sideways for a long, long, long time. These are months and months and months and months and months. And even though it 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 tested the top of that range, notice that it it never did get past that it came back in once it made that all time high. And by the way, just as a general statement, and I think some of this comes from Greg too, and it's helped along by. Uh, just analysis is that as long as the market is fairly close to its old highs you don't have a lot to worry about okay it's a, there's always something to worry about but in general as long as you're close to the old highs the market's in pretty good shape and i was testing some things like just stay long when the market's green and and just randomly this is 1987 uh but looking at this chart this i mean i knew i knew this slide was coming up but i didn't know you had such great trends but notice that in the green zone this market did really really well in the red zone the pink zone or whatever it starts to kind of meander then you're back at the green zone and then of course you're back at the pink zone up here and then the market crashed now this crash did feel like it was overnight i guess in one case it was but notice that it made new highs and it took eight weeks before you had a sell signal to tfm system and then we had the crash on the following monday so this happened fairly quickly but it was at least eight or nine weeks before the market actually crashed from the high and if you're working off a daily chart as i'll show you a couple in a minute here then you can see that you do have time especially if you're more of a trader type paying attention to what's going on now we had all-time highs going into the pandemic and then in this case it was only two weeks before we had the sell signal for the tfm 10 percent system and then you're like, okay, well, that's not enough time. Well, you did have a, a third week before the market began to sell off in general. Now, if you take a look at the bow ties, what's kind of cool is that TFM 10% system, which is the weekly system, actually triggered right before the bow tie trigger. So a longer term system triggered first. And that was kind of shocking for me because I didn't think it would, be, would react that quickly. But when you have a percentage, kind of a line in the sand, and then that moving average, and it gets cut through quickly, then you get a, a fairly robust type of quick signal. And I thought that was pretty cool. I know I'm a nerd. All right, so we made all-time highs coming into the pandemic. Then we had a bow tie to the downside. And that proper order began on that slide. And then you could see the market retrace, and then the bow tie sell signal would have been right there. Took a little bit longer to trigger than the TFM 10% system, which is kind of cool. But as a general statement, your daily signals will give you more of a heads up. So if you go back to the pandemic once again, we made all time highs and then we had lots and lots and lots of Landry light.
before the market really began to tank. So you did have some warning. You did know that the market was in trouble. And when you're seeing a breakdown like this, especially if you're getting a weekly signal, right? Yeah, there's always a chance of a whipsaw, but the old hedge fund adage comes to mind, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Now, I'm not saying dump all your longs. Again, you want to see each position to its fruition, but when the market begins to crack in, in earnest, I'm trying to think of a line from Pulp Fiction, you know, <laughs> that's going to be one charming pig, for a stock to defy gravity and not stop out, you might actually have one charming pig or whatever they called it. 